So welcome back to another tutorial on Clue 3D to Blender and in this tutorial we'll be creating an animation whereby you swing your clothes on the hanger like what you can see in this video right now. So it will be quick and easy but then let's start with um, Clue 3D and also in the description box every file you need or asset you need to create this tutorial will be available for you in the description box so just make sure you download it. So first of all what I'll do is to add a anger to this scene because i want us to hang our clothes in this um scene so i already have my hanger here so just go to hanger i have this metal hanger here so this is what i'll be using um okay but before i do this what i want to do first is to export i want this to this um i want this um truly here because this is where we will be swinging our um this thing our clothes on so let me first remove this okay so the next thing i'll do is to hang, uh, place this one here yes so i'll just file export it as um obj is fine so i'll just create another folder somewhere in my so um, let me just put under folder. Come New folder tutorial. Yeah. Okay, no. Let me just leave it as new folder too, since I already have another tutorial folder. So this is our truly here. Yes. So this is we are going to save this file. So um Yes, select all avatar single. Yeah, okay. So that is by the way. So the next thing we'll do is to delete this, then rank our clothes here. Yeah. So uh let me go back to my garment, then I'll place this on this here. Okay. So this is it here. Let me select everything. Okay. Control to select all. So now that we've simulated our clothes on the hanger, okay, let's assume we have like four colors of this particular um, cloth now. So I'll create like colorway for this um, t-shirt so that I'll show you what I'm trying to like explain when we import it to Blender. So editor, colorway, yeah, okay, already have them down. So this is black, uh, okay, okay, okay. Now let's do with these um, three colors now. Let's cancel this. Let's check our UV editor if it's properly placed. Yeah, it is. So now we are good to go to um, Blender now. So let me go back to simulation, file, export as um, OBJ. Okay, yeah, this truly. So the next thing we'll do here is to okay, let's name it T-shirt. Select all pattern avatar. Yes, single. Yes. So yeah, save all color. We are going to save all the color we inside that same folder. So. So while it's exporting, let's import our trolley. Yeah, so file, this is Blender 3.6 I'm using. So file, import, OBJ, yeah. My drive, new folder two. This is my trolley OBJ file, yeah. So import. So this is it, yeah. This is the one in an if. 
render but then you can add texture to it by yourself i think it's not you know you can make it black you can also um reduce the roughness to make it shine a bit. so just play around that but then this is not what we want to do yet so what i do mostly is to probably scale it on x as is so scale on x yeah it might affect the distance but then if you find a better anger on sketchfab or cd trader any 3d model or website then you can use that so the next thing we'll do here is to import again our shirts so import obj yes so we have to check oh let's start with this one so still loading yeah our shirt is here come on you see okay okay let's start with this now sorry i'm going to start with this so let's rotate it G, X, G, Z, so I want to be sure it's properly placed on the this thing. Come in. So now that I've placed it like this on the anger, I think this is not bad enough. So let me scroll it back. So this is what I'll do. In order to avoid though all the um all the color we have down OBJ file, but then I don't have time to always readjust it and keep placing it on the um trolley. So what I'll do next is to duplicate this shirt here and just adjust the um shader the nodes so just change the image texture so let's do this um shift d to duplicate x as is coming yes you know, quite slow then shift d x as is again just three i'll be using since we're having three color over here yes so i think this is fine So this is it here. So the next now do is to um you know, make it slant a bit. The reason why I make it uh, um tilted to the um I think to the X as like rotating it to the X as it is for it to show like the color of the I'll be mean, the logo of the brand, like the design in front, because if it swings like this, nobody will see what is written in front. You get what I'm trying to say. So what I did was to tilt it to the side like a bit. Okay. Coming, so after I have to change the origin of this system. So set origin to geometry. Oh, okay, yeah. So we're back. So what I'll do is to tilt it a bit to the side, so that it can depending on how how you want to tilt it to be. So, oh, sorry. I don't know not equal yeah but i think this is fine yeah, for the tilting so um the next thing we'll do here is for us to adjust the origin to the top of the hanger here you see this hanger top here since so that when it swings it doesn't allow the clue to like move away from the hanger or adjust away from the hanger so i think uh affect only the origin this option affect only the origin so yes so i'll bring it up a bit let me see Jeez, yeah. so it's only the origin that i'm moving in this process yeah, 
sorry my PC is quite laggy in this process. Anytime I screen record what I'm doing. So, okay, I want you to get to the I don't I hope you are seeing what I'm doing. The origin is moving, so I want you to get to the curve of the hangar, please. You can find with this, yeah. But then during your own process, you can do better. So, yeah, I'm fine with this. Then we can go back to the option, yes, option, and we select the. Now that we have the origin of our clothes at the top here, so it is easy for us to like swing like this and swing like this. This is how I did it. So this is just by the hierarchy. So all you need now is just to keyframe and set your angle you get what i'm trying to say so now the next thing we'll do is to keep them so this is how i swing my clothes on the hanger so control z so uh let's drag our timeline up you can see here so press here let's focus on the first set even you can also link your animation data so that you won't keyframe it one by one you get so okay so let's is r i think i think it's rx so if this is starting from here so let's do i sorry you place your mouse here click on this place your mouse here i and we are focusing on just rotation so the frame the rotation so let's say by okay let me make it every 20 frames so rx let me see 30 degree Let's see this. This is 30 degree. Let's see I rotation. Let me see this. Yeah, okay, this is 30 degree. So I see you want to swing before. Let's move to like 40. And I can see um, this is 30 degree r um x minus 30 okay no minus 30 sorry minus um 60 you get so i think 60 will be better for this control z because since it's coming back to zero position so r x minus 60 yes so enter I rotation so we can move to the 60th frame and see R X 60 again R X 60 yes enter I rotation so we can do it again to the 86th frame so r x minus 60 then enter then high rotation then the 100 frame let's be 200 frame so you see r x um 60 then enter then click i sorry why is not pressing oh so i rotation so we have it at the hundred as you can see so this is it here you can see this but then we can make it um linear so that it will be you get so just click on t put your next make sure you selected all your keyframe make sure your mouse is on the timeline and click on T, then make it linear and if it's too fast you can always adjust the keyframe of each yeah you can always adjust the keyframe of this thing. so 
but this is just how you swing so you can always adjust all these keyframes to make it like longer yeah so so this is it s on the x axis just s on the x axis adjust it a bit so we can then you can drag it so yeah case is too fast in the rotation also it's not necessary you place it on 30 yes you can see you can see this you can see this you can see this well i think we'll do this um shirt um manually to keyframe it manually because i've been trying to make some adjustment but it's not working sure but then if there are other ways you can do it faster than me yeah i think we should do that too so uh what we'll do here is the same thing we did here so what i'll do is to also keyframe but i will skip this part you get i'll skip this part so now we have our shirt rotating but then i want to also so what i'll do now is to make it linear so that the um, rotation linear so you can see but then i also have to like scale it let me see how i scale this this is like 140 so i think i have to scale this to 140 so s x as is can see so this is it here so uh we have to do this the opposite direction of this cloth here so i will do like i'll do for like three frames and then i'll skip the rest so this is what i'll do this rx i'm coming sorry so um let's do this let me go back to frame one so rx minus 30 so we are in the opposite direction then click on i um rotation so the next one is 20 frame 20 frame so um rx 60 Yeah, don't worry about it looking aligned in the movement. By the time I scale it up, it will be different. So, um, I, I'm sorry. Rotation. So, do the same thing. Come on. To be sure what I'm doing. So, okay. 40. So um R X minus sixty. So I rotation. Sorry, rotation. So now that we're here, next I'll do is to scale it to the hex axis a bit. Okay. So I think I'll drive it to the one from coming. So uh, I think I'm not making error with this keyframe. So uh, let me bring it to 140. So since I want to scale it to the x axis, I'll put my timeline on 140 frames so I can scale properly. So my when my timeline is the SX, then it scales down. Yes, and this is better. Yes. So um let's see okay you also have to make it linear too click on T and linear so let's see this and they are still moving on in the same that means I made a mistake there's an error somewhere where did this where did this one start from this one fire from this oh 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 it's not meant to be ah damn this is a big error for my side so i think i, I did not keyframe the first point here sorry i mean the, the error from so let me use this so i made a mistake here so i think so i'm supposed to keyframe it from one here so i swing immediately so i think i should do um r rx 30 you get so rx 30 yes and i change location and rotation yes. so, so 
this is it yes finally so yeah because how to adjust it so this is just how to swing your clothes left and right on your hanger so you can see here you can see so let's pause this um let's go to the we are going to the shader now but let me save this file okay. ctrl s let's see clothes swing tutorial sorry Let's save this blank file. Um, let's go to the shading part. It's meant to show texture since it's a big I don't know why it's not showing texture. So, let me see. I want to see something from here. It's meant to show texture. File export. Oh, the error is from my side. Damn. Okay. I didn't click on all this. Okay. Uh, in the file coordinates. Yes. Map texture. Yes. Okay. So, please don't forget to always click on your texture. I will import it inside now. So, this is it. This is baking. Okay, so since we are done here exporting, so what I'll do now is to um, change all this. So, uh, let me see. Let's change the map here. Uh, I'm coming. Yes, yes. I mean, okay, let's start with the blue. So, just. I'm coming. So, I'll be selecting this. Okay, let me start with the black first since this is the first color. Right here. There is an error. Come on. Okay. Yeah. Control. Control Shift T. Yes. New folder. This and this principal texture BSDF. So, since I made the mistake of not exporting it with um, UV texture before animating this um, shirt. So I think we'll just go with this now, but then I will show you how to like change the color of different shades you get. So since they are similar, I'll just click on this. Then I have to like duplicate this file. So when I click on this, I'll duplicate it. So since I duplicate this on another um, project, so what I'll do next is to change this. Let me change it to white. Can see that's changed to white, it's just because of the error from my side. So, you can do this one same here too. Come on, so um, let me do this like that. So, what I'll do here too is the same thing. So, I'll just duplicate this too. All you just need to do is just to change the image texture. You get just change the picture and the image texture, and the color on that texture will pop out on Blender. So, since so I'll click on the black one. So, so there's the black. Yeah, this is the black here. So this is it here. So this is just how to create your clothes to swing on a trolley. So let's play it again. Going to the beginning. Yeah, so let's play it. You can see. You can see it. You can see it. 
can see it so you can add as many clothes as you want on your trolley you get so and also you can create a nice background a clothes store or any how you want it or add the backdrop so thank you for watching this video on clothes 3d to blender animation don't forget to click on the subscribe button and also the not notification bell to get more tutorial from timmy the creator